Hey Scorpio, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for the next six months. Now this is for all Scorpio placements. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that I have edited the description box just a little bit to add more details on uh, Patreon for those of you who are interested in what I offer there, for those of you who are interested in personal readings. Um, if you're wanting to know what I offer on Instagram and TikTok, that's down there as well. And there's information on Indigo Garden, which is my other channel, okay? Um, the links and stuff are down below. So, Scorpio, let's start for you here in your next six months and see what we have for you. At the very end, I'm going to link another video for you guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, I like it. All right, the full is your overall energy here. Uh, so we have an Aquarius card. I feel like you guys are doing things that are a little bit uncomfortable. Now, it, it feels as if, I mean, you're making these decisions. You're, you're deciding that you're gonna do this. Like you're gonna connect. Uh, that's, how, that's how this feels here with this Two of Cups energy. Uh, it represents connections, relationships, partnerships, things of that nature. I feel like there's like, I'm getting a lot of P words. I feel like there, there's something going on with the public. You got the Six of Wands here as well. Can be public recognition, but I mainly feel that you're getting yourself out there uh, in more relationships. Some of you, a relationship is going to go public. Uh, something like that could be happening here within the next six months. But with that uh, Two of Cups energy, I feel like you're mainly connecting with new people. Or these are people coming towards you and they're pushing you. How do I explain that? It's like there are surprises here. I feel like there are a lot of surprises in the next six months. Mainly up mainly up to October is what I want to say here. Um, and, you know, it's like someone comes towards you. They just have this confidence about them that I feel could push you, like could kind of pressure you in a sense um, to act in that same manner. You know, they came towards you. They got what they wanted. Um, and it's not, I don't mean that in a low vibrational manner. Like it's like, well, it worked, you know, we're, we're in a happy friendship or a happy connection now. So maybe I should try to connect more in that way. Maybe I should put myself out there in that way when it comes to my business or when it comes to, you know, say a, a friend is the one that's uh, doing this is coming towards you. Well, we have a successful friendship now, so maybe I should put myself out there. Maybe I'll have a successful relationship like this, right? I feel like there's a big focus on public or like getting yourself seen, getting yourself noticed, um, connecting with people. Uh, what's going on with the Two of Cups? The star, yeah. Aquarian energy uh, showing up here with the star. So this could be an Aquarius that comes towards you, but I really do feel like you are kind of reinventing yourself. And this is going to go on for a while here, Scorpio. Um, like there's a pressure, and I feel like it's a pressure that you don't want to ignore. Um, however, I'm also getting like perfection. I feel like you're trying to perfect something, and you just got to go with the flow of things here in the next six months. You have the Six of Wands here, Jupiter in Leo. What's going on with the Six of Wands? Death and rebirth. Okay, yeah. Um, the way people, the way you're seeing yourself is changing, and because of this, the way other people uh, see you is changing. So I do feel like with the full here, you're going to have people coming out the woodwork, Scorpio. Uh, so lots of surprise conversations, lots of surprise offers. I feel like people could be gifting you things uh, like money, or they're investing in you. Um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, you could be getting investors or like people who are wanting to work with you, or they're seeing how you work. They're recognizing. Um, your talents, right? And I do feel this energy, if you're looking up here, um, like this focus on the third eye, like I, I just feel as if there's, um, there are intense psychic downloads that are going to be taking place here as well. There's a lot of, um, I just feel like there's a lot of deep, intense thought about the way that you want things to go, like your hopes and your dreams for the next year. You know, I feel like there's a lot that you're trying to plan here. The Empress. Taurus and Libra energy, okay? And you end the reading with the Empress as well. The Empress is like the birth of something new. You know, uh, she's like the pregnancy card of the tarot. So keep that in mind here, Scorpio, um, because I feel like there are tons of surprises coming for you here. 
but I also feel as if there's something in the works. Like there's something that's being created here. Obviously a new you is being born because we have death and rebirth. But you know, with that three of pentacles here, I feel like there are lots of downloads and the empress, like that type of energy is here. Like this could be a feminine guide. Like don't ignore what I'm about to tell you. Like that's the kind of energy that I feel here. Um, they're trying to tell you what's coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this feminine energy is trying to tell you what's coming. And you have the Seven of Swords right here. Seven of Swords can be a card of trickery, theft, or deception. So let's look at it. What's going on here? Somebody could have their moon in Aquarius. Seven of Wands. Somebody you need to cut out or block, okay? Um, somebody you need to cut out or block. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Libra, all right? Um, but like I said, you know, there are multiple connections, new connections happening in the next six months. It's like you've never put yourself out here like this before. You're bound to get a few bad apples, okay? You're bound to get a few bad apples, and there's one that I feel in particular could be a little deceptive or could be a little bit... Um, what would you call it? Like passive aggressive almost. Passive aggressive, but also like just the energy of gossip, okay? The energy of gossip, just trying to twist things. I, I don't like it, okay? And you're going to recognize as soon as you meet this person, just about, but you're going to want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Like that's the kind of energy you'll be in. And then it'll happen a few more times and you'll be like, okay, see, I was trying to fill you out, but now... Yeah, that's the kind of energy that I feel here. They're, they're trying to show you right off the bat who someone is. But again, you're meeting multiple someones. And I do feel as if a lot of these people are going to be positives in your life here. Four of Cups. But this one in particular, no. Okay, this one in particular, no. So this feminine energy, this could be a mother, a grandmother, you know, some, some female who has passed on. But I feel like they're like, listen, <laughs> listen, as soon as they show up, there's a red flag here. You don't need millions of them. So keep that in mind. Okay. Um, yeah. So they're trying to warn you of what's coming there in regards to that. Other than that, though, I feel like other things truly look amazing. You got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Um, what's going on with this? And now again, I, even though they look amazing, I feel like they are slow moving. Okay. I feel like this is you though. This is you taking time to figure things out. Um, but also when it comes to this energy here, it can mean that you're trying to perfect things. Like I said, I was getting a lot of P words, like there's pressure to perfect for the public, like there's, or for people or to compare it to people. Like there, there's something like that going on here. Um, some of you, you could have issues like putting in the work on something. Ace of Pentacles represents potential. Don't waste your potential trying to perfect something before it even begins. You can, you got to, you got to practice in order to perfect it, right? So you have to actually get going on it. Uh, put it out there. Create something. Don't be afraid to let people see your progress, you know? Uh, you have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy. What's going on with the Empress right here? What's going on with the Empress right here for Scorpio? of the Empress for Scorpio, please. Ten of Cups. Yeah. The birth of genuine happiness. And when I say genuine happiness, I don't mean like, oh, you had to get to this destination. I mean, you're not faking happiness. You're not living a life that other people want you to live. You're not living off of approval. You're living off of genuine, or you're not you're not being happy because of approval. You're happy because of genuine connection. People who accept the things that you know, they accept you for, for who you are. You know, they're not uh, somebody who is this energy over here, for example, right? Because you cut these energies out. Like once you see it in this person, you see it in a lot of other people as well. You're like, okay, I can recognize who it is that is not truly for me, that is not truly supporting me. Like you start to cut out these energies and then you're left with genuine connection, genuine fire, passion, motivation, encouragement, um, genuine knowledge, genuine wisdom, things to celebrate, like a really solid support system here. Um, and I love that for you, Scorpio. I really do. I'm going to link here a, um, a reading on the signs that are coming to you and what they mean. So I'll have that linked. I also have the details down below on personal readings, Patreon, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and Indigo Garden, which is my other channel. So if you all are interested in any of those things, of course, those details are down below, okay? If this is where we part, Scorpio, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.